everyone, it's me, yet again, David Klopich. And yeah, I uploaded two videos in a row and then stopped. Why, you ask? Well, because I had books to read and compositions to practice. And also I was in Belgrade for the first time in this year. But anyways, if you're wondering, this is not the David Klopich show. In fact, this is another series that I will create, it's called Show It. It's another series that will include random stuff taken from my room or further. And not just that, but also a showcase of RBS. Recently both stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get this over already. I also have a novel to write. Today's episode of Show It, we're gonna be showing you some books that I have in my room. We're gonna start with the RBS ones, the recently both ones. So you know what? Let's do it. <clears throat> all right. So first of all, we have this one. All right, let me get it close to you. Of course, this is on Serbian. And uh, when you translate this, it says Marko Kraljevic and the treasure of King Vukashin. Yes, both of these are from the Serbian epics. So just, just to let you know, these are really hard to understand. But fortunately, this is like a story and not like a, like having too many vowels and stuff. It's kind of hard to understand. This one is much easier to understand. <clears throat> I bought this in Belgrade. So this is a recently bought item. Okay. Uh, next we have this. This is my rainy girl. I guess that's how we translate it. It's written by Davina. It's a mother, by the way. Uh, so yeah, this is based on a true story, I guess. It's about uh, how they adopted a kid and now they call her the princess. Princesa, if you would like to. <clears throat> and yes, you have all of stuff here, so... I bought this when I was in Osijek. That's in Croatia. So yeah, this is on Croatian. So I have on Serbian and on Croatian. Alright. <clears throat> Next up. Alright. This is going to take a while. Boom! Alright, uh, I have six One Piece manga, and they're all on Serbian. Oh. Okay, uh, so, <clears throat> I have six of them right now, but uh, if I go to Belgrade again, I might buy another two, because every time I go to Belgrade, I got interested in buying this series, because obviously, I'd rather read than watch the actual thing, it's a bit healthier, you know. So yeah, there you go, One Piece, so here we have Romance Dawn, then we have, well, I think this is against Buggy, Buggy Pirates, I guess. Yeah, so you know how the manga goes, and of course, there, there's a, you know how mangas are read, right? Here, I'll show it to you. So there's something written. Oh, I might have rotated it in the wrong direction. There we go. Alright, I'll translate this to you. <clears throat> Okay, this is not the title page. Mangas are read from right to left. Please read the manual inside. And then, when you open up inside, it says... Stop, this is the end of the book. And then it says... Uh, okay. What the fuck? Oh, whatever, just explains how mangas are read and um, that you shouldn't spoil yourself if you read like normal people. Like Viabuz, if I can say it. But anyways, there you go. Like, some people open a book and then they're like, this is the end of the book. Okay. And yeah, they just toss it away. Okay, so this is another one. You, you guessed it. This is the st uh, stuff to lie about. I don't know how to translate this. I just translate how it's written and then we have this one. And then we have the two that I recently bought. Here we go. Alright, this is the sixth one, this is the seventh. No, fifth and sixth one, okay. Alright, so this one I've already read it yesterday. And I completed it. That's, that's how interesting that is. I'd rather read manga than read the actual set books. You know what set books are? The stuff you get in school. And then you have this one. Uh, I guess it's the oath? I don't know. Whatever. Everything's on Serbian, so I don't know how to translate it on English, because on English it might be different. Anyways, I might plan to read this later, not now maybe, but uh, yeah, there we go. It's pretty interesting so far. 
I just came to a part where Captain Core of the of the hundred plans or thousand, I don't know, like gets gets bailed, if you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> well, that's it for the recently pulled books. Let's see what else can we find. Okay, so I got some more books here, so let's go and review them. All right. So the first one is this one. It's um Bonton or I don't know how to translate this literally. It's on French. I mean, the word is on French, and this is on Serbian yet again. Or is it on French? Or... Oh no, it's not on... Uh, what the... What the hell? Did I just really say French? <sighs> I mean, it's on Croatian. Uh, okay. Alright, I got this from my schoolmate. Here, you can read it. I mean, you, you honestly don't understand. But here, I'll translate this to you. Okay. For Daki, that's my, that's my nickname, by the way. The best and the smartest friend on the world. Irma N. And that's it. I'm, I'm not gonna say how she, what her surname is. She's a pretty cute girl, but unfortunately I'm not with her in the gymnasium. She's in the... She's in the agriculture school or something. I don't know how to say. And then we have this. This is something uh, I got uh, from my grandpa. But now I didn't get it. I just took it to read. It's... um. The actual history of the world, as I or as I like to say it, the most accurate history in the world. So yeah, if you buy this thing in the next 30 minutes, you're gonna get a gra you're gonna get a history of Serbia who never got who never managed to write for free. And yeah, you're gonna guess what's gonna be inside. Some stuff here. Here I'll take an example for you, just to let you know. Here's this one. Moses has promised to Jews that they're going that they're, they will be better for like two or maybe even two and a half years straight. Okay, and then we have Cheops is in depression when he heard that Bo that the Bosniaks already made pyramids. Okay, and now let me just scroll a little bit. So there, this is called the uh, the evening papyrus. Papyrus, lel. And then you, um, let's see what else do we have. Greek soldiers are made of big wooden horse and got inside of it. Then the Troya people took the horse inside of the city. You'll never guess what happened then. But I hope you know what happened. They, they just destroyed the city. That, that's, that's all you need to know. You can take a look at Wikipedia or, or a Trust 40 site except that. Who knows? But anyways, enough of talk, you understand what this is about, funny history, it's pretty fun to read, unfortunately it's on Serbian yet again. Next we have Oxford Encyclopedia, and if you thought that this was on English, you're wrong. It's yet again on, on our language. Now I don't know if this is on Vecenia List, or oh, this is on, this is again on Croatian. Yeah, yeah, it, it is on Croatian, Jesus Christ. We have, okay, we have some items here, and here we have people. There are three books with people, and the rest of them are items, I guess. And then you can take a look at how it looks like. Alright, so there's nothing much to see here, because everything is on Croatian. Something you might not be able to understand, but there, but there you go. At least that's how it looks like. I want to see the other book. All right. Too bad there's no Ivo Andrić because this is, of course, from L L to Z, and Andrić is right on the beginning of the book. He was a great writer. He wrote the Bridge on the Drina. Yeah, that popular masterpiece. I saw that in Belgrade again. Jesus Christ! I even saw it here in my city. I was like, I see, I saw that the bridge on the Drina. Really, did, did they just translate the book to English? If they did, how am I gonna understand such a great masterpiece, let alone on English? But yeah, you get the thing. This is um, some people, some very, very best people. And now, es ist Zeit, etwas on German to say. Okay, never mind. That was terrible. That was a terrible attempt to say something on German. But anyways, you know what it is. It's a, it's a, a gross, it's a big ass handbook. 
with German grammar. I saw you could see this book in the in one of the episodes of David Klopit show. I'll leave the link in the description so you could be able to check it out. Or I will put annotations at the end of the video where you'll be able to see the video. There's no, nothing really much to see. There's just a bunch of grammar and complicating stuff to understand. So you know what? I guess that's it. Oh yeah. I have another thing to show you. Bam. This is a magazine of our partner school in Varaždin, in Croatia. Varaždin is like located somewhere on on the on the north of the city, I guess, of the country. Yeah, so uh, they have pretty much awesome stuff here to show. And here you can take a look. As you can see, the international the international cooperation with Varaždin and Brčko. Brčko is a city where we, where I am from. And there I live as, as well. It's a good city, but... Well, it's going downhill. There are better cities. Even Sarajevo is a better city. I mean, Banja Luka is a better city. Uh, you know what I mean. And there's quite a lot of stuff here. Now, let me show you something. There's one guy from here uh, called Mario Hantak. Now, um, yeah, uh, I never knew about him because obviously he's Croatian and I am Serbian. So yeah, he's a uh, he's a disabled <coughs> he's a disabled person here. Here, here is the one in the middle. Uh, he was the be he was actually the best student in the school. And of course, well, when, during his birthday. After, in the next morning he woke up from his birthday, he couldn't even move. He couldn't even move a muscle. So, they took him to the to the hospital to do some checks, tests and all. And then they realized that, that he's disabled now. And yeah, that's that's a long story. But even so, he still, he still heads up. Chin up, mate. And all. So, yeah. And then we have, and did you know this? Did you know... Wait a minute, wait a minute, where is it located? Well, maybe it's located, ah, there we go, there we go. All right, I'm gonna let you guess. Where is this place you see here? Do you see, what is this over here? All right, but anyways, the first, first graders of this middle school are actually went there. And we went to that place at the end of this at the end of the sc elementary school and yes if you have guessed it if you watched all my videos then you probably might have guessed it and you did it's Vienna these guys went to Vienna when they were just starting school on the 28th of April 2000 well, yes, this is from 2011-2012. This is very, very old. But it looks as good as new. That's the quality. Now take a look at ours. And say to me, look how thin, how fat and how thin this is. And the one that is fat has more infos in it. And here is our school magazine. Gymnasium or Gymnasialats And there's a guy drew, that drew something Kind of looks interesting So yeah, for that one I probably might do something I will draw as well, I guess And yeah, there's nothing really much to see There are um, people who are retired now And then we have the day of middle schoolers and there's Dervish and Death, I guess. I don't really know. And then we ha have AIDS. And yeah, I even got the ribbon, but I don't know where I left it. I probably isn't that important anyways. Okay, um, I'll give you something else before I end this video. Uh, or uh, something else, I guess. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at this a little. The German Olympics, I guess. Deutsch Olympiade. And uh, don't even get me started. But let me just show you something. This is a masterpiece written by my friend Ranko. 
and of course everything is in Serbian yet again. But don't worry, I might try and translate... Oh, no, no, fuck no, I will not translate it, it's too complex for me. He's actually one of the best students in the in this gymnasium, that's why I'm, I'm not gonna be able to translate this thing. But, I still have something to show you. Boom! During the age of Yoka, I wrote this. It's called Poklon, or the present, the gift, or whatever. And right down there is my name, David Klopic, first three. That's how we are separated from the HR class. And yes, those were some good old times. And you know what? I will be leaving down in the description the story about her and why is she no longer in my videos because I've been stretching this for too long so I guess I should give you guys a go to see what is this really about so you know what I guess that will conclude for today's video of SHOW IT! Check down the link in the description to see the video or even check the annotations at the end of this video. So you know what? That concludes for today's episode, so have a nice day and see you all next time. And don't forget to subscribe, like and comment!